right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Good Mythical More. We're gonna roll some pizza dough in the weirdest ways we know. But first, we're going to check our voice okay. mail. This is very overdue. I actually haven't checked I in months. I don't know when the joke is a dad joke. I know the punchline when... is apparent. Oh, <laughs> How do you know when a joke is a dad joke? Because the punchline is a parrot. Okay. <laughs> Gus, it was it was a blast watching you m make those ridiculous orders. It's and we place, also man. learned in the process, uh, you told us that you worked at a pizza place. Yep, I did. I was I literally worked at the pizza place. That was the name of it. I, <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know how you phone that one in. It can be anything. It doesn't even need to what sound Italian, call it? but the pizza place. Where, where was place. this? This was back in my little small town in Wisconsin. You're not gonna shout out the town? I'm not I mean I don't You're know. You're trying to keep it. I'm keeping it on the DL. Oh I see. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna talk about his town. It's like easy it. to find. There's a thousand people there. It, was I it like just it. TH -E? Everybody knows or did they you. even do they go like T H a pizza place. No, it's not it was just the pizza place. Just full white bread boring name of and, it. And you did what there? I did everything. I was everything rolling, I was I was delivering, I was ringing customers up and stuff. Like it was it was an all all events kind of situation. How much pizza did you eat? I ate just so much pizza. Cuz the thing is the second it gets wrecked, I mean, it's up for grabs, you know? Okay. And unfortunately, stuff gets wrecked all the time if Like if there's pizza. like a one of those big the big bubble bubbles. things. Yep, you can't sell those if there's like uh, if the toppings are too sparse and it just gets a little burned by the crust. You can't sell them. The can't owners... you just shove more toppings on that burp spot? And I mean, like if I was seal, seal it off like <laughs> spackle or something. If I was the business owner, I probably would have done it for, for like financial reasons. But uh, yeah, I just they just were like, nope, make a new pizza. Do you know that thing they have? What is this? I think they have it at Papa John's, but maybe they got it at other places. Where oh the tractor the, they roll it yeah. on there to keep the pizza bubbles from happening yeah dude the tractor thing with a little like uh, it pokes a little, bunch of little holes in the dough it's like the a cons, garden yeah. weasel it is yeah. a little garden weasel. it's a garden yeah. weasel for your pizza it's a pizza weasel all right so oh that's slimy is this real cold I think you might need to flour yeah, your hands cold. up first oh yeah. yeah get a little tell us get a little panache on the fingers there all right gold medal okay oh <laughs> you got a problem in our flour choice that's fine I can work with that. <laughs> Got to get use this real liberally here. All right. Um, the, Gus made one more additional phone call that didn't make it into the episode to Round Table Pizza, and we posted it on the Mythical Society. Go check that out, mythicalsociety.com. Um, uh, I think it may oof. have been the most hilarious exchange that you had. Yeah, that was my favorite. To for make sure. the divorce. Yeah, divorce pizza. Divorce pizza. I made a friend on the phone there too. My boy was pulling for me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, we just digging in here. Well, we're just gonna take one and then pick something to roll it. I thought you tossed. Oh, you can toss definitely. Uh, I think primarily you want to start by rolling though. Okay. You you usually want to try to get as many like bubbles out as you can. Here, Link, take that one. And put it on your flour. So you like if oh. if I was actually diving in, I w and I will recrimp this. I would kind of go and I would just do a little bit of this, kind of get that. a little bit of crust stuff out Gus here. Just, you know what? Uh, you're, oh, you just oh, you hey, broke it. this is bad dough. This is not on okay. me. See that right there? I think it's because it's wheat dough. Oh, it's wheat dough. Yeah. Uh, we didn't make healthy pizzas where I came from. We made bad ones. Let's fix that up. What you, you said you were crimping. You got to crimp. You got to give a little bit of room for the crust there usually. Okay, but what about the roller blade? All right, let's get that roller blade in here. You gonna rollerblade it? Yeah. That's working. I mean, in a way, it's doing what the tractor is supposed to do, so that's pretty good. Well, I'm kind of. Oh, you got a little foldy. I got to just roll that right out. Right out of you the calzone get, territory. You want to get all the wheels on it. That's good. Good spread. What's what? your go-to pizza order? Oh man, you got to go with uh, just a pepperoni and a jalapeno with a little oh, side order of medium buffalo wings, dude. <laughs> medium buffalo mm. wings. Half to pepperoni on half of the pizza. Yeah. And you said that Domino's is your choice. Domino's is my choice. The, here's the thing. I have a huge complaint. Whenever I go to like social events and stuff, everybody messes up the pizza order. You go to a place, you go to a party, you're always getting pizza. And there's always people that are just throwing in stuff like, oh, we gotta get one with Asiago cheese and onions and stuff. No. No. <laughs> onions you, and stuff. It's so easy. You don't even have to go Domino's. Domino's has a deal where you can get two medium, two topping pizzas for $5.99 each, as long as you get at least two of them. Give them the URL. Get, uh, yeah, geez, I should have a, 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 band, a brand link here. They're, <laughs> they're not a sponsor. But Domino's you, Pizza Dash Gus. That's it. 20% <laughs> off, baby. But just uh, get the cheap poppin'? ones. What's popping over here? 
How's this working? Now, I'm not actually getting much popping happen. You need some more flour on that, that's why. What, what is this anyway? Is this supposed to be like a push mower for yeah, children? It yeah. makes children feel like they're doing something and they're not actually doing anything. But children can get a mower. This is more of a, it's just a, this is, there's no. Yeah, give your kids a mower instead. This is like my first chore right there. You indoctrinate them young and they'll want to do manual labor for you. I think it's more like a vacuum cleaner than a mower. I think it teaches them that all this amounts to nothing except some balls <laughs> popping around. Um. Oh wow, I'm really loud. Oh, there's a pop. Right oh, this is working now. Oh, dude, that's what still are your, better than blade. What are your current pizza orders? I'm I'm most interested in Link. What is your current pizza order? Uh, sausage. <laughs> Maybe onions. Oh. That's it. You got, I, you got I, stank pizza. That's no good. Stank pizza? <laughs> that's not social pizza. That's private at home watching AMC pizza. Right there. <laughs> That'll do. I don't need. I don't need you. I don't that's, need you and your pizza. That, I'll stay on the other side of the Sausage room. Sausage yeah. and a little bit of onions for my stank pizza. Ugh. And if you can stuff some cheese in the crust, please do. That's pretty good too. Ch cheese stuffed crust. Here's here's the deal. I think there are, there are two different kinds of people when it comes to pizza orders. There are people who have very strong opinions about that, and there are people like me who are surrounded by people with very strong opinions about pizza who are just like, you know what, I don't care. Just whatever you guys want. That's right. fair. This passes the test. Put that in the save pile. <laughs> but pepperoni and mushroom, if I was just by myself, yeah. I'd throw some jalapenos on there. See, I would do that too. Usually what I do is I keep a little bottle of Tapatio as my little side piece there so I can you know, just slap them on each bite. Oh yeah. I put Tapatio on everything. What about Cholula? Cholula's good, but it's mostly good for eggs. Happy Cotton Candy Day, daddies. Hi, Randy. Hi, what are you guys doing? Oh, we're just rolling pizza dough with different things that you probably shouldn't roll pizza dough with. Oh, heck yeah, you wanna hear a sweet nothing? Yeah. Okay. I want to remake Sister, Sister starring you and me. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. I want to lure you out into international waters where our country's laws don't apply. <laughs> hey, I got something you guys can do pizza with. What's that, Randy? It's here in my pouch. It's a necklace made of bones and eyes. Good. I made it to get married in, but I've been doing some soul searching and I've decided I don't believe in monogamy anymore. <laughs> All right, have fun rolling pizzas, daddies. Thank you, Randy. Bye, guys. I'll see you later at kissing practice. <laughs> okay. All Thank right. You, Randy. Now, the interesting thing is I feel like Randy definitely yeah. gave us fake eyeballs, but he gave us real these are antlers he gave us real antlers <laughs> okay yeah these yeah. are these are either some brow tines or some juvenile bucks right here because these are the <laughs> smallest <laughs> antlers i've ever seen <laughs> he killed some baby deer for this yeah, exercise these are, <laughs> these are the cabela buck lamp rejects right here <laughs> oh, it doesn't do it abysmal. doesn't do it you know what it kind of tractor in it though it's tr it is tractoring it there's yeah. gonna be no bubbles in this dough that's a safe one i got a floured up worm you want it yeah i'd take that you got a little eyepiece in here though can't be <laughs> digesting that I'm surprised Randy didn't bring us these. Um, Gus, you do the honors right. because I don't know how we would do an honor. We're gonna put a hand on every finger here, all right? Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Can I guess you can do that? Oh, there you go. Go for it. This is good for like those artisanal crusts, you know, where they got that little crimping on the edge. Oh yeah, that's this, a good idea. This is like pie crust. You know, you take that fork and go along oh, the edge here. Oh yeah. This is how mama used to make it. You go in there and mama would be down. <laughs> She'd be down on all fours. Just, hey. <laughs> so, get hands off my pie, god dang it. Oh, we're going, yeah, d double hand. Double, do we have enough? Yeah, it should be good. Oh boy, these are tight. That's good, that's this good. This feels wrong. <laughs> How'd you get it on them? Okay. All right, let's crimp some edges here. Link's got a good uh, good clean dough here. Oh, thank you, thank you. Look, you can I'll pry myself edge. on my clean dough. Can you do one of the, uh, one of these? I, 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 with my right hand, I With think. your right hand, I can do it on the left. Look, you get the little Henry Ford assembly line situation going on here. I'm going right hand. You can just go right around the whole pizza. Oh, 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 you Henry Ford it? That's pretty good. Wow, yeah, it's nice and it's, it's, ooh, it's just, I can just go everywhere with it. Do you think you could do a little mini toss of the pizza pie with these? I love how you're putting everything in the form of a question, but I can tell you, <laughs> you're pretty much telling me to do it. You'd be a good teacher. I'll do anything. I'm leaving it open. Anything you say, guys. At your pace. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, you kind of, well, okay. That's the good stuff. Okay. You gotta get a spin. That, see, there you go. Now you're getting that girth in there. 
It's all about the, oh, whoop, okay. Oh, it yep, kind of yep. reduced in size. That's all right, that'll be the little bread bites on the side. Oh, bread bites. Bread let's, bites. Yeah, let's do a mini version Man, here. Are y'all sweating? I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> y'all sweating? Well, that flower's gonna stick My nice fingertips are. Oh, oh this is very difficult. <laughs> now, what do you think about a calzone that's got all the same ingredients as a pizza, but then fold it over? I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't like it at all. Why you gotta oh, tell him, well. you telling him like you don't know what a calzone is. No, I'm telling him so that the people who are watching who don't know what a calzone is will know. That's fair. You know, that's called performance. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just think it's, it's it's inefficient. You know, you're already wasting so many carbs on a pizza. This like, A calzone is double that with less filling. You know, it's not satisfying. There's a bunch of bites where you need to take a bite just to get invested into the food. There's no you mean filling bread on the only bites. Right. Yeah, ugh, waste of time. But I don't eat they're the doing crust. that at, at Papa John's. They got this new thing. Uh, yeah, it's the pa Papa. What's it called? Papadilla. Papadilla. It's Papadilla. It's just pizza, and they didn't even close it up. They just folded a pizza and said, "It's a new product." Yeah, it's weak. That's Have you something. guys seen the commercials for this thing? Papadilla. It's just folded pizza. That's what I, I don't need to. I don't need to pop it or fold my pizza for me. It's a I waste. I thought you were just talking about Anthony's new. Channel. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Every time I see Anthony, he's like, "Call me Papadilla." I'm like, I, I just. <laughs> I just am not comfortable with it yet. You'll get used to it. Yeah, dude, I'm not a calzone boy though. I don't know what the heck they were thinking with the Papa Diaz thing. It's just, it's a bad move, you know? What else do we have? Did you use the worm? How did that come out? Uh, well, it did more to the worm. I bet you I could maybe create like a slingshot situation. I could throw you some dough with my worm. That'd be good, a little David and Goliath there. <laughs> here we go, here we go, Link, you ready? <laughs> one more try, one more try. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that really shot out of there. That's okay. We'll put that one in the oven a little longer. Kill what about just one of these? You know? See, that's the Use a little one merch, right you know? Sit a little merch. How that's about a pool stuff. stick oh, and we could do stick? two at the same time? Yes. If I had dough over here. But I do have a worm. Uh oh, these pen ridges are going to kill you, though. Yep. Yep. Just pu push, push down on it. Just push, push down hard. You got a seesaw. Go back and forth. Yeah, you get a little bit. There we go. And then I get a little bit. You get a little bit. Come That's back. pretty clean. Come back. They ever do this at your pizza shop? We try not to typically, but <laughs> you know, if worse comes to worse, you gotta break out with. We try not to seesaw. Y'all no, boys seesaw don't like record. teamwork. Nah, nah, we like working individually. There's not a lot of communication at the pizza shop. What's the worst thing that ever happened to you at the pizza place? Well, uh, my county was at one point in time the meth producing capital of the United States. That's an actual fact, you can look it up. Well, uh, congratulations. <laughs> thank you, man, we really fought hard for that one. Uh, but we uh, just naturally, a lot of our deliveries were genuinely to like drug houses and stuff like that. Oh. Absolutely, like we, really? we had to carry limited change and stuff. We had to check in on some of the orders and stuff like that. So I have like delivered to honest to goodness meth houses before where you walk up to the dude's house. There's a cabin in the woods that we, we get orders from sometimes. You go up and you knock on the door every time. Bah, 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 bah. And there's Rottweilers running around in there and stuff. And like the dude has hazmat suits hanging outside his porch. <laughs> it sounds yeah. like a joke, like a Breaking Bad mini movie or something. But like the dude will like come to the door and he's it reeks of chemicals and he's smoking and he's in like one of those like wife beater t-shirts, you know? and Or and just completely naked. Yeah, hey, you never know. I guess I caught him only on good days, but okay. <laughs> but he would either tip very terribly or exceptionally well. <laughs> he's like, It'll average out. Yeah, at one no point in the grade. process he's in. Yeah. yeah. So lots of those kind of stories, but I don't know. Lots of those stories. Oh, lots of those. But you stories. never felt unsafe. I never felt unsafe, but I did deliver to a house that had just been broken into one time before. That's the truth. Like immediately? Immediately. I drove up, I'll tell you what, it was, it was January, I drove up in the winter, and it was a house way out of town, and I and I pull up and there's a big four by four pickup there, and the front door is fully open. It's probably like 10 degrees out, so I was like, all right, this is really weird. I walk up to the door and the hinges were busted off, and like, or like the little lock thing was, you know, the door was open, and I look inside and there's a dude huddled by the fireplace in full winter clothing, and he is starting a fire with like a broken up chair, like a, <laughs> a piece of equipment. You're broken, and break a chair. Yeah, and like I go in there and he stands up, he goes, hey, 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 whoa, what's up? And I was just like, hey, it's uh, <clears throat> pizza. pizza. <laughs> and he goes like, oh, okay. And he's like, hey. And his boy comes over and he, he comes out with a backpack and he pulls this Ziploc bag out with a bunch of crumpled up bills in there. And what I found weird was before I left the shop, the girl that took the order was like, this is weird. They asked for your full name. And I was like, hold up. 
Do you know who they were? No, I just gave it to them. <laughs> like, what are you doing? So, but now I know why is because he takes out the Ziploc bag of cash and he goes and he gives me a bill and he tips me like 30 bucks and he goes, here you go. Keep the change, Gus Johnson. <laughs> what? These guys are like the best criminals ever. It was hush money. They order a pizza in the middle of a crime. That's yeah. like something you see in a movie. It's really smart. Because it's like you can't raid the cupboards. That would be very disrespectful. Right. So you got to just order Order it. out. I but like it. I didn't tell anybody either. I let years go by before I started telling that story. Because I was like, <laughs> they know where I live. I am not risking my life for this minimum wage job to Gus die here. Gus Johnson. Sounds like you might need to change your name, Gus Johnson. <laughs> no, shoot. New GMM mugs in three different wild styles are available now at mythical.com.